So welcome back to my channel. I'm accompanied by two of, honestly, I would say, I'm gonna call them my mentors because they're two people that really helped me shape my mind when it came to this money thing. And I, I couldn't wait to get them on, on this couch to sit here and talk to you guys about finances. So go ahead and introduce yourselves real quick. Yo, I'm Shaq Paul, Andre Gordon. And uh, honestly, we're here to talk about Forex. So I've been doing Forex for about, I would say, maybe six months now. And I still consider myself a newbie. What Forex is to me is just another stream of income, another way to diversify my funds. Diversifying my funds to me is basically having multiple streams of income and having more than one source to get money. The more streams of income, the easier life gets. I'm gonna let Shaq and Andre take the helm and, and describe a little bit more what Forex is because these two are the experts. They taught me everything I know about this and uh, I'm gonna let you guys dive right into it. I'm gonna let Big Boss go first. Yeah, I want you guys to give a little background as well for yourselves too. Like, How long have you two been doing Forex? Cause I, like I said, I've been doing it for about maybe half a year so far. How about you guys? How long have you guys been involved with Forex? I've been trading Forex for about 15 months now. Mm -hmm. So about a year, three months. I uh, came out of high school, no background in, in college, no university background. I was trying to find a way to get it. So when Forex came into my life back in September 2018, I said, absolutely, why not? Let me give it a shot. And um, Forex is lit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How about you? How long have you been doing this? Facts. Okay, so I've been doing this um, I got started almost a year now. I started taking it really serious maybe, I'll say, about 10 months ago mm -hmm. um, after I came back from a convention in Las Vegas. It totally shifted and changed my whole concept of money. Just seeing how much money you can make in a small amount of time or the returns that you're getting on your money was actually phenomenal for me because personally I was doing stocks, I was doing other types of investing and returns on investments you see in Forex, you don't see in any other investment vehicle in my opinion. So. Um, that's what stood up for me and um, made me fall in love with Forex. What exactly is Forex? For those that don't know, they're watching this video because I get questions day in and day out. What is Forex? What are these charts you're reading? Explain this to me. I do my best to explain it, but I feel like I am nowhere near as knowledgeable as you two when it comes to explaining what Forex is. So when you go to the States, you have $100 Canadian and you're transferring to, to US, you're going to get a little bit less, right? Because the United States dollar is a little bit stronger. So essentially what Forex is, we trade currencies against each other. And basically the volatility of the market, if it goes up or down, we make money off of that. That's essentially that's what Forex is. For those of you that don't know, volatility means how much something is moving and shifting. I mean, we're gonna throw all these words out. I'm, I'm gonna try and help you guys. I'm gonna be the dictionary and the translator for you guys. So very small movement, it's gonna be a very small volatility. If it's a lot of movement going on, it's going up and down a lot, it's, it's very volatile, yes, which is also really good because that's a lot of room for you to make your profit. So Forex, of course, is a short form for foreign exchange. So it's not a fancy term we created. Um, the foreign exchange market is a 5.3 to a 6.6 .6 trillion dollar per day market um, that operates 24 hours a day, five days a week, right? So to give you an idea, the foreign exchange market is like the Lake Ontario and the stock market is like a bottle of water, right? So it's a, it's a much bigger market than the stock market, but the stock market is much more glorified in main media. One of the biggest things, like you said, you touched on is a lot, when people see these graphs, they think we're doing stocks. but what is the difference between doing that and doing Forex? Yeah, so stock market, you own a piece of shares of a company uh, in the hopes that the company is gonna increase in value and grow to a point where your stock is actually gonna increase, right? So the difference is Forex is we're investing in currencies, right? We're buying, we're buying a certain share of currencies. Um, with, cur with Forex, it moves a lot faster. It's a bigger market. With, with stocks now, it's a smaller market in a sense, and it, it's a slow growth. With Forex, you make money if the market goes up or if the market goes down. That's what really stood out to me with Forex as well. That's why I liked it. With, with stocks, you have to hold it and kind of hold it for a couple of years and hope that the stock goes up mm -hmm. before you sell it and profit off of it. But Forex, you can do that a couple of minutes, hours, days and make a lot more returns on that market. So one thing that stood out to me when you guys both introduced me to Forex was, like you said, I can make money whether the market is going up or down. Exactly. And if you in invest in a stock, you have to go up to make that money or you're yeah. taking a loss. Yeah. So Whereas if I bet in the market for on a, a certain pair and that I bet on it going down, I'm making money on that still. It doubles my chances on returning. 100%, 100%. But the thing what I hate the most is like, when you go to a financial institution to open up a stock account, there's no support. Yeah. There's no help. So the average person opening a self-directed, you know, stock account, they're losing money because they don't know it's not, nothing what they're doing. Yeah. They're buying something in hopes that it'll increase at, at, at a later date. Mm -hmm. While well, the foreign exchange market's a bit different, right? The, the company, the educational platform that we're all a part of, we actually have mentors and and uh, resources to help people learn. 
and how to make money in a certain, certain amount of time, whatever their financial goal is. Bro, so a little bit of background, me and Shaq used to work at the same bank together. And I remember that you opened my investment account with that bank. Yeah, I did. And <laughs> I remember opening, I was like, yeah, okay, lovely. I get home, I'm like, yo, I'm ready to make a, a trade. I'm ready to get into the market. I'm ready to make some investments. And I'm like, yeah. what do I do? You know what I mean? Like, I felt <laughs> so, I, was, I felt alone. You know what I mean? And I was saying like, I need all the help in the world, but like, I needed Direction. guidance. And I made a lot of mistakes in the beginning where I'm like, yo, I shouldn't even have to have made that mistake if someone was here to like, instruct me and, and guide me along the way. So it's like, they throw you into the fire, and that's because they're making that money off of you regardless of if you make your money or you, or you don't. I realize when it comes to Forex, right, the community is a big part of this, right? So with what we got going on, I understand that mentorship is gonna be a big part to your success in this. And I said to myself, I wanna be able to hold someone accountable whether I lose or whether I win, right? So if, if, if I got massive success in Forex, I wanna be able to give it back to somebody and if I lost, I wanna be like, yo, bro, it's your fault. You owe me a rat. What's going on? <laughs> I was ready to do that. I was ready. I was like, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna do this, but yo, if I take an L, listen, everyone gonna know I did this up because of y'all. In life, the word system stands for save yourself time, energy, and money. Hey, wow. yo. <laughs> and, and I ain't never heard that one before. You, 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 that's a bar, right? That? That's some bar. bar. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I knew for myself, I have to plug into a system to get the results that I wanted. The foreign estate market is gonna perform patterns and trends, and they're gonna repeat themselves 70 to 80% of the time, okay? When I understood this, I just said to myself, I can make money in the foreign exchange market by getting in and out of these patterns and trends before they fully execute. Now, what ends up happening is, is people come into our community, and someone says, hey, Andre, you know what? I wanna become a full-time trader. I wanna become an independent trader. I wanna pay off some student loan debt, pay off my credit card debt, and get a sense of direction of career change, right? Then you have person B that says, Andre, you know what? I'm phenomenal. I'm a lawyer. I'm, a, I'm an athlete. I'm a rapper. I don't need what you guys got going on. But I do want to make my money make money for me. That's what it is. Like when I first started, I just started copying paste from the experts. And then four and a half months into this, by me going through step one and two and three, I now became one of those experts that people were copying and pasting from. Straight up, while you're. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was my favorite perk the whole time. I was like, yo, I even got to do nothing? Just copy and paste? Bet. I'm allowed to plagiarize? I'm here for it. I'm here for it. A really key thing about the last thing you said there is do you wanna make this a full time goal? Do you wanna make this a copy and pasting? There's no wrong answer. Like, because I have no shame in saying, I wouldn't mind making a little bit of money, a little bit of extra money on the side. So if it's just a copy and pasting for me, I don't have time to really be sitting down and scouring the the actual market and looking at the, the trade pairs and the and the graphs and all that. I don't have the time for that. But I don't mind plugging in a couple numbers every now and then, a couple minutes out of my day, and making the money off of that. And it worked for me. And to the point where, like naturally, like you said, you see, like yo, this is starting to really put some extra money in my pocket. Yeah. Maybe now I do want to kind of change those goals and, and look into a little bit deeper. I would say my first week, I didn't really go as hard. I was really just like, okay, I'll copy and paste a couple of things here and there. I did a couple of trades. And at the end of the week, I was like, oh, I got like 80 bucks. And I really thought about it, I was like, yo, I didn't do anything really to get this 80 bucks. Here. Matt so, texted me, he's like, yo, fam. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, I had to mess this guy on the side. I was really confused because I was on the beach, had living my best life, drunk. And I, I was like, I put in a trade on my way to the beach before any of this really took place. So I got, I got lit, had a good time on the beach. I woke up the next day, mm -hmm. scrambling on my phone. I see a notification or whatever. I'm like, two bills? And $200 is, might not sound like a lot to you guys, but if you woke up tomorrow with $200 that you didn't have yesterday and all you have to do was plug in a couple of numbers, I was like, yo fam, what is the next numbers I gotta plug in? And they're like, yo, I that's that's the problem. Pay works. attention. And, that, and I, that's that's really the day where I was like, yo, this is something where I'm really about to put a lot more and invest a lot more of my time into it. So the light bulb moment for me. And even still, if I still want to be the person that's like, okay, I'm just gonna copy and paste still, that's fine. But I guarantee you that once you start to see the dividends and the possibilities that it can that it can lead to, everything changes in an instant. So 100%. just to wrap up really quickly. What are the last little, like, little, just, that's a little momento to leave everyone else on. Yeah, man, like, like you said, um, the, you know, last part that stuck out to you, step three is what sticks out to me, the artificial intelligence, man. Yo, everybody knows that life happens, like, yeah. things happen in life where you just don't have the time to, to be on the charts 24-7. Like, people have this, this notion that, you know, forex traders are on charts 24-7, like, it's not really like that, like, you know, you have artificial intelligence, you have things that are helping you out. So you don't spend that much time. The goal is not to spend that much time in front of a computer. It's get in, get out, spend a couple of hours, maybe an hour, a couple of minutes, and then get out. But the artificial intelligence stood out to me. You know, it tells me exactly where I should enter the market, where I should exit. 
it does all the hard work for me, the heavy lifting in a sense, right? All the homework, whatever you want to call it. It does it for you where, you know, it tells you exactly where to enter, where to exit, what you're exactly risking on every trade. So when people say forex is risky, I just laugh at them and I'm like, how? Yeah. We know can... exactly how much we're losing on every single yeah. trade because it's something called a stop loss. Mm -hmm. And again, that's another terminology. We're not going to get into, the, into that, but it, it's basically your safety net, your insurance, right? Yeah. And you know exactly how much you potentially can get on every single trade. You can never lose more than you're willing to lose. Exactly. Let's just put it exactly. Exactly. Whereas exactly. if you put your money into a stock, <laughs> and that plummets, God be with you. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that, that was one thing that stuck out to me as well. Yeah. I'm gonna let you touch on one little concluding fact as well. Mm. Something to leave off on. Oftentimes in life, your greatest gift comes in a form you least expect. Two are so phenomenal to be able to learn this information that now it's literally what I live and breathe, right? Like hearing Shaq say, you wanna learn this so you don't have to be on the chart all day long. Like I trade four hours a week, <laughs> right? Yeah. But that's just today's economy, right? Yeah. All right, so there you have it. Um, this video is by no means everything you need to know about Forex, but it's a very good starting tool to kind of get a good idea of exactly what it is. So if you have any more questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm gonna leave their information as well. And stay tuned, we'll be here to drop more knowledge on y'all. Subscribe, like, and leave them comments down there as well. Yes, sir.